Novak Djokovic is preparing to play at the Australian Open for the first time since he was deported on the eve of the 2022 edition of the tournament. Novak Djokovic has shared his experience of returning to Australia 12 months after being deported and barred from the country. The 21-time Grand Slam champion had his ban lifted in time to return for the 2023 season and now claims he has no expectations about his crowd reception when he finally goes back to the Australian Open in search of a record 10th title. Djokovic played and won his first singles match in Australia since 2021 on Tuesday as he dispatched Constant Lestian 6-3, 6-2 in an hour and 14 minutes to start his season and his Adelaide International campaign with a victory. The top seed later admitted that he had been pleasantly surprised with the level of support from the crowd as he played in front of a packed centre court full of Serbian fans. It was one of many positive experiences that the 35-year-old said he had in Australia this time around after having his visa cancelled twice and ultimately being deported when he arrived in the country last year to compete, but Djokovic isn't placing any expectation on his return to Melbourne Park for the Australian Open despite a warm welcome in Adelaide. I mean, every experience and every day that I had so far my visit this year was positive, the world number 5 said after Tuesday's match. The people that I encountered on the beach or in restaurants or wherever I was kind of roaming around the city or of course here at the tennis, everybody was very welcoming. Djokovic also admitted that he had already dealt with last year's events before his return, adding, Well, look, I can say it was different coming into Australia this year than any other year certainly because of the events 12 months ago, but at the same time, 12 months is quite a long time, as well. Already it's behind me. I've moved on, and the nine-time Australian Open champion had even made light of last year's saga ahead of his return to the country, explaining, well, I kind of was joking around with my team hoping that I can enter Australia this time, and that's what happened.